Um, hello, uh, my name is uh, Nestor. So basically, uh, I would like to just to share my personal experience about uh, uh, how I see that is the process for publishing data. And uh, my research topics relates to the spatiotemporal dynamics of domestic wastewater. Um, the good news is that I only have uh, one slide, and uh, <laughs> so and uh, I am just curious to to know uh, who already has the experience to collect data from the field work uh, to the final process of uh, reproducing the the model. Uh, no, no one from here. Uh, what kind of data? Water? Yeah, uh, from your own research, like uh, that you have to go to do field work, then documenting data, and then you generate the model and then reproduce yeah. the model. So uh, as I see that there is only one person I can imagine, well, <laughs> many persons, uh, I, I think that uh, this, uh, let's say, uh, my talk is for the people that do not have experience about doing this, uh, and also because I am still uh, trying to learn from this process, but um, uh, so what I what I want to st to start mentioning is that in my personal experience, just collecting the data uh, is not uh, some something that is easy. Uh, I just uh, share uh, these three images to to give you the idea of what is uh, the process of collecting wastewater. So. You can see one locality there with the uh, neighborhood blocks. And uh, just reaching the place and uh, to do the, 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 the exploratory of the sewage network to, to know what are the, uh, the, the spatial locations, the best spatial locations to, to uh, measure the pollutants from water. So that's uh, a process. Uh, and then you have the equipment to do that. So it's also um, a, te a technical challenge just to, um, to do the setup, also to collect it with the cloud to store the data. And at the end, you also have the, the, the human problem because uh, people is also curious about the, the data that you are collecting and how they are producing these uh, pollutants. So. All these process uh, make it uh, complicated, and usually because uh, this kind of data is not uh, is not for the public. Uh, you can have a lot of issues, and that's why I have the um, <clears throat> this uh, second point about uh, documentation. Um, I had the the experience that. Uh, Privacy is a big challenge for this kind of, uh, of uh, information. Uh, when I was collecting data, I realized that even I had to face these uh, legal issues uh, with uh, not only with the inhabitants, but also with the managers, uh, the ones that are providing sanitation services. And that's why I, I would say that you have to think in advance uh, if you really want to go into this kind of issues. Uh, and if you decide to go for these issues, uh, you have to be aware what is the kind of approach that you uh, want to take to deal with, uh, with this human factor. Uh, how you are going to protect the people that is there in the locality and how you also have to protect the, the managers because sometimes uh, things are not working there in sanitation and you don't want to, uh, to open the data and also to, to generate legal issues for the, for the inhabitants. So this is my first recommendation for you. Um, uh, what I have to say about best practices is that uh, I suppose that you are already familiar with uh, Markdown and GitHub. So this is something that I really uh, recommend that since the beginning you start uh, learning about these technologies and uh, then don't be afraid also to, to start just doing the experimentation because at, at the end of the day 
it's very rewarding just to see the, the final outcomes that you can produce and also because this is the way to make it uh, usable, useful for um, the, the, the future uh, people that wants to, uh, to build uh, based on your work. Um, so for, the, uh, for, for providing reproducible results, uh, something that I uh, that I was doing is uh, once uh, you do the cleaning of the data, um, then I was starting to build the model uh, to produce this time series of the of the dynamics of the pollutants, and um, I, I will I will say that that is uh, also very handy that you are connecting your model. Uh, Right away with your with your data, and that also the depending on the software that, that you are using, you focus uh, in the few in the figures that you want to uh, that you want to produce and to show in the paper. And at the end of the day, this saves you a lot of time because um, when you are doing the reviewing process, it's really easy just to you know click Control Enter and to run the entire model and uh, from the a starting point where you were collecting data and your data was also dirty. Um, so this is something that I will I will say that is uh, nice to share to the people that uh, hasn't start doing the the, the reproducibility of the results. Um, just four points. I want to say that. This uh, this perspective is not it is something that uh, takes uh, practice. That you should focus on the main figures because then you will lose a lot of uh, time and, e and energy in between process. And that at the end of the day, probably the journal will ask you just to provide four figures. So just pay attention in this point. And that this is something. Uh, that helps you to optimize your your entire process of doing research. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nestor. Um, we can take one question, maybe, before finishing today. Actually, this is very interesting because Sometimes, even if you, you, you generate unique data which you want to share with everyone, you cannot. So that's also a, a limitation and a fact. Uh, I hope we can find good ways to, to share as much as possible. Okay. Thank you very much and good Thank luck you. with your PhD.